Hey everyone, it's Linnea, and I have a video today for the Hedgehog Hollow December card kit. And our sponsor this month is Pretty Pink Posh, and this kit is packed full of a uh, stamp set with coordinating dies and a separate sentiment die, all from Pretty Pink Posh, and some sequins too if you're a regular subscriber. I just love the products in this kit. So I stamped out the champagne glasses onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock, um, and I stamped it twice. This is something I do a lot in case I mess up on one of them or I want to experiment with my coloring. So I stamped and colored two images, but I'm only actually going to be using one for my card, and then I'll just tuck the other one in with my stamp set so that I have an extra one the next time I want to make a card. So I'm using some real brush markers and nothing fancy with my coloring here, just simple one color blending. For the glasses, I wanted them to appear clear. So I just added some of my lightest gray into the corners and I blended that out with my water brush to just give some shadows. And for the first time for the Hedgehog Hollow subscription, there are coordinating dies for the stamp set. And I love coordinating dies. Look how easy it is to just die cut those champagne glasses and pop them out. And they're so super cute. So now I'm going to be focusing on my background. And my background is quite involved. I wanted it to be the focal point of my card. So that is why I'm only using one colored image because I want the background to be highlighted. I stuck down some strips of washi tape horizontally across my card so that I have half inch areas of my card base showing through. And then I'm using just a Tim Holtz ink blending foam thing here with some Indian Gold Nouveau Mousse. And I'm just blending that mousse over my card base. And now I'm going to remove my washi tape. This took me a long time to remove the washi tape. I have the video sped up, but really I'm going agonizingly slowly because I don't want to tear my card base after I've done all the work of masking it off and doing my blending and everything. So when I take my tape off, I'm peeling it back onto itself and that makes it less likely to tear. I set that aside to dry only for like five minutes. The Nouveau Mousse, because I applied such a thin layer, it dries really quickly. It'll take a little bit longer to dry if you apply it with a, sta a spatula, but because I did it um, with my ink blending foam, it dried really quickly. And now I'm putting on some vertical strips of washi tape and leaving about a quarter inch showing, um, stripes showing vertically. And I'm using some black ash Nouveau mousse and I'm just blending that on the same way I did before with my gold with um, a, a blending foam. And I do keep these foams and I reuse them until they die like I do for ink blending. And you guys, honestly, I wish that I had stopped there. I wish that I hadn't continued on adding more black and adding more stripes. But I did, so I'm going with it, and I'm going to make it work. Um, so I added some more of these black stripes going horizontally, and I almost made a mistake there. I almost forgot to mask off the gold parts, and that could have really ruined my background. But thankfully, I remembered to do that before I got going. So now you can see I've added a stripe of black going horizontally, as well as the one going vertically. And I'm going to repeat this process and do another horizontal stripe of the black ash so that the gold is kind of boxed in and I was going for a plaid look and in the end it looks more like a checkerboard like I said I wish that I had stopped with just the vertical strips of black but I didn't and I do end up liking the way this looks it's super shimmery and super shiny I love Nouveau products for that reason they're so easy to work with and they really give a shiny look so to pop up my champagne glasses, since the coordinating dies are included in this kit, I took some sticky backed craft foam and die cut it. That way I have some dimension that is exactly the shape of my die cut. I don't have to worry about cutting down foam squares and it's just, it's super easy. I took the silver foil cardstock or the silver mirror cardstock rather that comes in the kit and I die cut it with the Happy New Year die from Pretty Pink Posh. And in addition, I also cut three more of the dies from white cardstock. And I stacked them up so that 
the die cut has dimension as well because there was no way I'm cutting itty bitty pieces of foam tape to put behind this sentiment. So it's a trick I learned from Jennifer McGuire. Just stack up white pieces and then put your specialty piece on top. And that's it. This card has plenty of shine from the um, Wink of Stella on my uh, little glasses there, the Nouveau background, and the Happy New Year die. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.